Today I'm going to work on this Atari 2600. Um, this is a four switch version. Uh, it's got a really strange problem. Uh, and it's easier if I could show you. So I'm going to use Demon Attack. Uh, and I've tried this on multiple cartridges and it does the same thing. So when you put the game in, you can see the, the counters going up. Uh, for whatever level or or game that you want to play if it's a multi-card or whatever so I've I've downloaded the field service manual. I printed it out. I've completely gone through it um, I ruled out the game select switch early on uh, But one of the interesting things in in the manual with just about every problem, it'll tell you to swap out one or all three of the chips. And the chips meaning the the TIA, the CPU, or the Riot chip. And I saw the Riot chip come up a, a few times. That one was kind of noticeable. Um, so I've ordered a new old stock Riot chip from Best Electronics. And I'm going to put that in here today. But... But how I got to this point was with using a working uh, four switch, uh, I was able to swap the chips out of these and the problem followed the chip and it happened to be the right chip. So um, let me get this apart and we'll get that chip replaced. Okay, so here's the board. Uh, this is a, a version 9, um, and then here's your TIA chip, your CPU, and your Riot chip. So I do have some chip pullers, but none of them will fit in here because of this cartridge slot. Uh, I really hate those, other, those yellow clampy uh, chip pullers, so I'm just going to use a pair of tweezers. And if you're careful, you can you can do this. Um, if you have to use a screwdriver, you can. Uh, just be very careful. So I'm just going to put this in here. And just on both sides, I'm just doing a little bit at a time. Uh, you don't want to go too much at once and bend your pins. Looks like that side's free. There we go. So, so this is the old, the old chip. And uh, we'll just set that aside. So here's our, here's our, our new old stock chip. And uh, you can see there's a, uh, I believe that's the 42nd week of 1982, which is pretty close to the other chip. Uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. So we'll save this old chip. Um, maybe it'll work in another machine, maybe it won't. So these, these chips, just make sure you put them in the same way the old one came out. Um, there's a little notch right here. And it's actually on this side of the board, my right. So to put this in, just, just be very careful. Uh, you don't want to bend your pins. Just make sure that they're all kind of seated and ready to go. When, once they are, just firm, steady pressure. And it'll go right back on there. Uh, while we got the board out... Uh, so this is our color wheel. This is uh, how I'm gonna adjust the colors on it. Uh, this particular one's missing a foam, piece of foam. Uh, this this has been a part before, um, not by me, but, uh, well, I have taken it apart, but uh, when I got it, it was in a box and this was not installed on it, so. Um, I've ordered a cap kit for this, so uh, once I get the caps, um, I'll get those replaced and you guys can see that. 
I also ordered a, a composite mod chip. So I'm gonna do a composite mod on here. And I'm also going to put a power light on this one. Okay, so now that we have the, the riot chip replaced, um, I just wanted to tweak the colors just a little bit. Um, and you just use a, a game you're familiar with, and, and I am familiar with this game a little bit. Uh, but you can use this diagnostic cartridge. Um, and I'll show you how that works. So you put the cartridge in, you turn it on. There's a gray line right here. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but uh, the bar below and the bar above should be uh, within a, a color of each other or a shade of color. Um, so I'm just, I'm, I can see it's out just a little bit. So I'm just gonna move this just a little bit. And I think right about there should do it. Um, but, you know, I I find that, that I actually just use a game uh, to adjust the color. Uh, Maybe, maybe if I was, if I didn't have a flat screen TV, it would be different, but I'm going to use Pitfall 2 uh, for now. And the, the color still seems off a little bit to me. So I'm just going to adjust just a little bit more. There we go. That way the trees are, are green. So I, I think I'm going to leave it right there. Um, and then next... Uh, green is easy to to find, uh, so I'm gonna try. Well, there's no label on this, but this is football. Um, just just so I could see the colors on it. Um, and this game cartridge is glitchy, so that doesn't look very green to me. So let's. Uh, there we go. It doesn't take much. You just barely breathe on that and it's going to change. So uh, I think that's good there. Um, I do have another football game that I'll try. Uh, so we've got this football game here. And actually that looks pretty good. So... I, I think we're I think we're pretty good on the color. Um, let me let me try. Let's see what missile command looks like. So if anybody's familiar with the colors of this one, you know, let me know if that's if that's off. Um, it may be. And like I said, the colors could be different once I replace all the capacitors. So. Um, We'll try this uh, surround game. Now, I actually just got this game. I've never played it before. But um, I have a Bally Astrocade. And there's a game called Checkmate on there. And I play that a lot. Supposedly, this is supposed to be a similar game. Uh, I don't get my Astrocade out as, as much as I'd like to. Um, so... I just wanted to have that game just to have it. So I do have some ghosting in here um, and that's probably just the RF and that's going to go away. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. So let me get this back in the uh, its case and uh, we'll, uh, we'll put the diagnostic cartridge in one more time along with these terminators. I'll show you what they do. And maybe we'll do a little bit of gameplay. Okay, so I've got the I've got this diagnostic cartridge in here. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what it does. So this screen right here, you have your difficulties, the left and right set to A. And this screen will come up if it's got bad RAM. It'll have like squiggly lines or something on it. Uh, I've never seen that, 
but it, it does show it in the book. Uh, if you flip the left difficulty to B, um, this is where you can test your switches. Um, black and white will go to this screen. Um, this just should be from the black line down from black to white gradually. I have a controller in here right now, um, and this is the left one. Uh, so if I go up, you can see it, it changes. And then I'll go down, it also changes. And then left, and then right. Um, the button doesn't seem to do anything on it, uh, but you know, this also tests the sound. But like I said before, is the, the sound is, is really annoying. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put these, these terminators in. It came with the cartridge. Um, or I ordered them with it, but you can see how much hot glue is in these things. I don't know why people use hot glue for this stuff, really. Um, but uh, we'll put these terminators in and we'll turn this back on. You can see these light up, the little lights on them, so you know you've got power uh, coming to your controllers. Uh, if we go back here, you can see it's the the screen is different. Um, and again, you can you can still check those switches. So that's that's the kind of the my extent of knowledge with the diagnostic cart. If you guys use this and and I'm doing something wrong with the cartridge, please let me know. Um, It'd be interesting to see how many of you guys are actually using one of those. So I think for now, until I get the caps replaced, um, I'm gonna leave this the way it is. It's actually working now. Um, I'm I'm hoping that the colors will be a little better once I uh, recap it. And for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna play some Moon Patrol, and uh, you can see how bad I am at it. Uh, I can't wait for the new Intellivision to be shipped. Um, I'm looking forward to playing Moon Patrol on that. But anyway, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, just put them down in the comments below. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.